Hey everybody. <clears throat> well, welcome back. <laughs> so I I did a thing. Uh might not have been a very good thing. Um what I did is every once in a while I like to format my computer and reinstall my operating system. And well, I did. And I forgot that you know the dead linger saves files locally <laughs> oh no and, and I realized that when I had loaded you know reinstalled and fired it up and I went to load my game and I said mmm uh, where's my game and then that's when I realized well it didn't save so why is that important uh, well I say that's pretty important because well I lost my sword Oh my goodness! You know, and 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 just uh, the other day, <laughs> uh, I got a a comment from Keith, and he said, uh, you know, I put my sword down into the world because I was swapping some gear around, and and he was he was quick to point out, you know, hey, you know, you gotta be careful doing that because I've not had much luck. You know, I can put stuff down in the world and it just falls into the world and it's gone well you know and I could lose my sword doing that and well yeah so I lost my sword <laughs> oh man I just thought of that as I was firing this up and then the other thing too was uh, I had gotten to a cabin you know because I was gonna try and start over my my living in the apocalypse here with a cabin and so when I popped in and I, I mean I've got nothing you know this is this is brand new and so yeah, I mean, you know, it's fine. It happens. Uh, especially when we go to, like, you know, the death penalty systems and stuff. Oh, my goodness. How do I get into this cabin? Uh, so I said to myself, well, I'm going to have to... Is there a zombie in there? Oh, there is. There's a backpack, too. Uh, but anyway, I was like, crud. I'm going to have to start over. But luckily, look what I found right away. Like, I just popped in. I got to find a weapon. And sure enough... found my cabin all right so with that in mind there's some food matches there's a backpack in here but I gotta kill was it this one there's a zombie in one of these except he's climbing up into the attic I haven't quite figured out how that works crap I needed the attic what else is here fire poker food Okay, so once I can figure out how to get that... Well, here's a zombie. Maybe that other one will come back. <clears throat> Let me pick up this other ammo. Oh, man. So, yeah, I am completely starting over. I don't know if that's the one that crawled up. What's in this room? Was there anything else in here besides the zombie? I got my backpack. I don't know if that's the one that crawled up. But remember, I'm going to try that trick of, uh, I haven't quite mastered the jumping onto furniture to get up into other places, but I need, <sighs> oh, there he is, oh, dang it, maybe he'll fall down, where are you at, where'd he go, oh, 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 that's frustrating. Oh, man. You know, see, and I thought I would be safe in these cabins. I know that was foolish. Because uh, I thought there's no way that they're going to get up into that attic. But I was wrong. Huh. Okay. Well, so the other thing, too, other than me starting over again um, the other thing I've got going on is there it is oh who's attacking there's a bunch of zombies that are up here so the other thing that I've got going on is I'm trying uh, the open broadcast software these zombies are irritating me so instead of XSplit my XSplit license that I paid for is about to expire 
Um, you know, and, and I got a, a deal where they said they would renew my license for twenty dollars, like half the price of the two year. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I just don't really feel like spending twenty bucks on the license, so I'm gonna test this OBS out. Now, there was another suggestion that I tried DX Tory. Uh, just the open broadcast just kind of seemed more intuitive to me. It real really similar to um, XSplit that I thought I'd go ahead and just try it. I'm going to go ahead and load up on my shotgun stuff here. and I don't like this cabin just because of the way you know it's laid out. Oh, hello. The way that it's like partly in the ground and stuff like that. So we're going to take one each of our weapons here. Uh, I got my knife, the matches, and we're going to go find a different cabin. <clears throat> Mostly because this is bugged. <laughs> I've got zombies in places that there should not be zombies. Uh, I'm going to take just a little bit of food. I think we're good. I got some matches, the backpack, a knife. I got the basics here. And no salt shakers. That right there makes this place a no-go. Okay, so that's that's cabin number one. Uh, I'm trying to remember which way I came. But I remember roads through woods. Oh, the farmhouse. Alright, we're going to run this away. I just spawned. You can't see where I'm pointing. I'm pointing with my finger. I just spawned right over there and turned. And here was the cabin. I just don't like the way it's built. Yeah, see, he got up on the roof. and But I don't like the way that it's generated into the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go find another cabin that I can go ahead and start. Hopefully it's not built into the ground, but if I can find another cabin, then we'll uh, see what we can do there. And there's another bit of tall mountains that I can't climb. But one of the reasons I went ahead and formatted my hard drive is just... I mean, I pick up so much junk over <laughs> the span of a few months. You know, lots of game downloads. Everything seems to start chugging down after a while. And I mean, you can do, you know, your disk defrags. Um, I'm just looking for any signs of another cabin off the road here. You know, there's a lot of things you can do for hard drive maintenance and stuff. But it just really feels like I do better if I just format this thing every now and then. So one thing I'll have to keep in mind for the future is if I got any... Uh, save videos, which I think I had some saved videos that I hadn't posted yet. Um, I had some stuff for uh, the EverQuest Next beta testing and or alpha testing, I should call it, that I lost as well. I mean, it's stuff I can record again. And so I wasn't too concerned about the dead linger until I realized that, yeah, I lost my sword. Okay, well, this was not a good way to go because I, I guarantee I cannot go up that road. <laughs> they they got some work to do here with their world generation. Uh, once once I find a cabin that looks halfway decently generated, I'm gonna go ahead then and start thinking about where I could go. Oh, I just don't know if I want to go and find a sword again. I mean that that's the best, but I still gotta find a fireman axe. But I gotta drop some of this stuff off I'm carrying to make room to pick up an axe. So I'm not going to go ahead into the towns yet. I'm going to go ahead and cut across country, see if I can find some more woods, and then get back out there and, you know, find the axe. Because I want to start, go ahead, cutting wood, and, and tr just play around. Like, I really, I, I really want their barricading system to work, you know. And I'm sure in its current state, I've there's I've got to make it work I'm thinking it's just me it's you know the systems in place it gives you unlimited flexibility within the couple of things that you can make you know you can rotate your wood however you want I just think it's me because uh, I've seen some pictures that folks have done of some incredibly well-built things and I don't know if they go through the same issues that I do with stuff floating away disappearing um, or you know lining it up so I think probably it's more me than than the game system that struggles I do feel like stuff floats away and I'm not the only one that posts so like 
you know, I'm just torn, you know, do I spend time barricading or trying to build something just to come back a few minutes later and find out it's shifted? And, you know, there's always that concern. But part of me is just that glutton for punishment that I want to put stuff up. And if I put enough pieces of wood on my house at some point, it shouldn't matter what floats away because uh, I've got a whole bunch of wood covering that window or, you know, got that ladder or something. Oh, man, I hate coming through woods that are just crawling with zombies. But we're going to just run on through and hope I don't get a world refresh and crash. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty stoked for the build 13. Well, I don't know if the herds concept is coming in build 13. So right here you come through and you get your procedurally generated world and then you just see, I mean, just look, I mean, oh my goodness, they're everywhere. You know, and I, I suppose that could make sense. You could say this was a high population area so that's why there's all these zombies here but what would be cool and I think I mentioned this in the last video too just oh that's because those are dogs oh. oh my goodness I'm a trying I'm aiming oh I didn't aim very good even with a shotgun, they got me. Um, the dogs. Hate the dogs. But, you know, you come into your procedurally generated area and you see all those zombies. Now, if you kill them, they're going to come back at some point. Like, they just randomly will reappear in the world. You can save your game, come back, and there they'll be again, just randomly there. And I, I don't like that. But I think their idea of the horde system where there's like one leader zombie and then a, a certain amount that follow that leader and I'm not quite sure how they pick their path of movement but I think that would be a better way to repopulate an area is to have that zombie horde come through and what's cool is why I like that that's gonna give you the sense of actually securing an area because you don't know when a zombie horde will come through you don't know what's going to motivate them to come through. So you might go a long time and see no zombies. And that builds that sense of security. And then all of a sudden, here comes a wandering horde. And there could be 8, 10, 20 of them. And then you've got to decide, you know, do I just sit up in my house and hope that they just kind of wander through the area and don't come after me? Do I want to go out and kill them because I've got hundreds of rounds of sniper rifle ammo? You know, that that to me is a pretty cool thing where you get the choices on how you want to handle those wandering hordes. And, you know, just the fact that they kind of wander through and leave and never come back, I mean, that's totally cool with me. They might at some point turn around and come back, you know, but that's how I think they should repopulate. Now you might say, well, where do those hordes come from? What generates those? Are those randomly determined? Um, you know, that could be. I mean, because really in the world, you know, there's billions of people that live here. So even if you wipe out 20 or 30, there's potentially still a billion zombies out there, you know, that you can run into. So seeing groups that wander through every now and then doesn't, is not illogical. That, that makes a lot of sense. Now, the world's refreshing. I haven't heard it ding out, and there it is. Okay, I was worried. Ah, oh, but uh, yeah. So we died. We're back in. Uh, I'm waiting on this to give me my frame rate back here. It looks like it generated me on the far side of the zombies. I'm okay with that. Yeah. See, this, this is the only problem with the refresh. Oh, it's like drawing stuff in. Is sometimes I get horrible frame rate after the refresh and then it it takes a while to smooth out and then as you've seen before I've done a, f a refresh where it just quickly popped back in and I was good so this is definitely not one of those quick pop back in and I'm good this is a uh, uh, stuck and it might take a second or two for this to smooth out enough for me here mm. 
<sighs> well, plus two by by doing this refresh, uh, you know, re redoing my my computer here, all the all the sounds got reset back to the default, and so I'm hoping that what I did was I I left the game volume where it's at, and then I just turned down on the uh, the open broadcast software you can designate the sound of the game and the microphone and stuff. I left the microphone up high, and then I turned the in-game volume down on the broadcast software. So I'm hoping that you guys can hear every, you know, can hear some of the groans and the shotgun sounds and different things, but you can still hear me okay. So, you know, if you want to go ahead and leave some feedback on quality. Now, obviously, th <laughs> this right now is not very quality because I just got stuck in this stupid world refresh horrible horrible uh frame rate draw issue that they said is something that they have worked on and that's another reason i'm ready for build 13 like I, I would be happy if they they did more frequent updates that focused on bug patches which i i think could happen i know they're trying to put features in but at the same time optimization optimization is optimization optimization I, that's all I gotta say about that you know that's cool you want to add stuff but at the same time let's let's really fix up what we got uh, part of me is thinking we might cut this one really 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 short that way I can maybe pop out of the game because I'm afraid by the time I get <laughs> the frame rate back the zombies would have caught up with me because I don't, I don't think the zombies stop. I think they're like the uh, weeping angels. You know, by the time my, my frame rate catches up with me, they've moved that much closer towards me. And this this is not getting any better anytime soon. So, unfortunately, we'll cut this one short. So this is going to be a short one. I think this will post on Monday. So this is going to be a short Monday episode. Sorry, guys. Um, but hopefully when you come back Tuesday, you know, then we can get some more time out of it. I just don't feel like t two episodes, paste them together to make like a 20 minute, you know, we'll just end it here. Come back tomorrow. Let's see if we can get some more play time with a decent frame rate. Um, find a new cabin, set up my base and then start plotting out where I can go. I got to, that's my new, my new stuff is I got to start over and get that sword back. I keep hoping this is just going to kick in, but no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Um, sorry you didn't get much out of this one, but I broke it. All right, I'll see you all later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.